So I will tell you the trick that I do in order to do exponents. Yeah. Okay, that, that, that might be a better one. So when I look at exponents, this is usually what I think. So let's say I have a 10 to the two and I have to add 10 to the three. You could do it on your calculator, but the better way would be, what is this 10 to the two? Right? 10 to the two means one with two zeros. Okay? Then what is 10 to the three? One with? That's the trick to it. As many uh, power that you see, put a one, put zeros there. So now that I have this number done, I will have 1,000 plus 100 is just that number. So don't be confused. The only time I think it tricks you is when you do 10 to the 2 multiplied by 10 to the 3. Right? In that case, it's actually quite simple. Just add these two numbers together. Okay, what else? What else will be there be on lab tonight? Is there a specific thing? Um, fractions. fractions. Okay, so here's my trick to do fractions. Do you want a multiplication ones or division ones? Division. Okay, so the difference between division and multiplication. Uh, somebody come up with numbers. Two over, three. two over three and another number. Seven over 10. Excellent. You want, let's do multiplication first. So if I multiply these two numbers, how does that work? So here's the trick. This is two and this is 10. Let me change colors. One, five. So it will give me seven over 15. The same numbers, if there is a division in between them, I have learned this trick where to me, division implies multiplication inverted. That's all it means. Okay. Now there's no numbers I can divide and I can, I, can, I can do very little with it. So my answer will just be 20 over 21. Okay, so when you have a fraction and you're multiplying, make sure you cancel the numerators and denominators and make it go into its smallest form. If there is a division, flip the latter one. Don't flip this one. This one stays the same. The first one stays the same. Whatever is being divided, you flip it and that becomes a multiplication. What if the same two numbers are being added? Now in that case, you have to find the least common multiple, right? Of the denominators, three and 10. Is there a least common multiple that you can do? Yes, three, one, 10, 10, one, one. So the least common multiple is 30 between them. Excellent. So this is how I do it. I will write 30 here. Then look at this side, times this by 10. Then look at this side, times this by three. Do you see it? 30 divided by 10 is three. And 30 divided by three is 10. So then this will give me, the answer will be 20 plus 21, 41 over 30. Now, what if, the, what if my question said two over three, plus seven over nine. Now what is going to be the least common multiple between the three and the nine? Three, one times three, three, one, one. 
So the least common multiple between these two numbers and the denominator is nine times this by three, because three times three is nine, and times this by one. That will give me six plus seven, which is 13 over nine. Do you guys want to try another one of those on your own? Okay, I'll give you another one. Uh, five over six plus three over 12. That's the challenge. I promise I will not come around and look at your answers. So just try it. Are we done? Okay, do we wanna do it together? Okay, so these are the two numbers I have. 6 and 12, I can do 6 first, so that would give me 1 and 2, and then I can do 2, 1 and 1, so the least common multiple between them is 12, so then I will have 12 times 2 times 1, 10 plus 3, that gives me 13 over 12. You could convert this into mixed numbers as well, right? Do we know how to do that? 13 divided by 12, one times 12, one. So this number could be rewritten as one, one over 12. That's called a mixed number. Just a little bit more of the language. Let's do one more. Let's, let's think of a good question. Um, okay, here's a good question. Uh, four, four over 12 plus six over 36. Oh, subtracting. You're right. Sorry. My bad. Subtraction. Good catch. Okay, we're gonna start. What's the first step we're gonna do? Look at which two numbers. And we're gonna find the LCM for them. What's the first number? I think two will be a good number, right? Six and 18. Did I do that right? And then I can do, do you guys wanna do two or three? Both of them will go. Three, two, and nine. No, six. What am I doing? This should be six, wasn't it? Yeah. And then I can do two again. So it'll be one and three, and then three. It'll be one and one. So multiply all of these numbers together. What do I get? 36. So then what should come on my, what should be on my denominator? 36, 36 divided by 12. So then what should four be multiplied with? And 36 times divided by 36, one. So I will get 12 minus six. So I will have six over 36, making sure that I have the, most simplest form, the answer is one over six. And where would one over six be on the number line? Like right there, where one is kind of like the tiny number, right? 